Hey team, what's going on? Jeff here. Happy Friday. I hope you all had an awesome week. Listen, as you know, I do these short videos to motivate, inspire, and encourage you. And here at New Economy, what we do is we help entrepreneurs gain control of their finances to make smart decisions to build and grow their business. And you you know that by now. You've heard this over and over and over again. Listen, this short video that I wanted to share with you um, it's really, it's entitled showing up for others. And the point of it is really just that it's questioning and thinking about, and maybe reflecting upon how that we're showing up for others. And I think specifically, this is, this is in the workplace and pretty much as it relates to us in our zoom rooms, if you will, because we are a virtual company. So think about that for a second. How are you really showing up for others? We talk a lot, a lot about creating an experience. And I think that experience that we're creating, it's really an internal thing. It starts with us as a team. It starts with our interactions and engagements with each other, holding each other accountable, setting really good experiences up for each other. And then it happens outside. It happens with the client base. And just a few things, just a few examples, things that I want us to kind of our mental sort of Rolodex run through it in terms of showing up for others. Um, are you on Zooms and are you looking at a second screen? Are, are your eyes making contact with the person that you're speaking to or are you off to the side looking at emails or maybe even looking down at your phone and checking emails? Because if you are, you're not showing up for somebody else. You're multitasking and you're distracted. So are you showing up for others? I think the second thing is, are you, are you stationary? Are you in one place? focused on that other individual. I've been on Zooms before where, you know, people are moving or there's people in the background moving or there's constant commotion that's happening. And occasionally things are going to happen. You need to move to go plug in your laptop or, you know, maybe because we all work at home, the Amazon guy, that's, that's, a, <laughs> that's one that always happens. The Amazon guy comes when, 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 when we're on a Zoom. But outside of that, we should be stationary and focused. Our full attention should be present in this particular Zoom room that we're in. How are we showing up actually physically on the screen? Is our screen, you know, are we way down here and we're just seeing the top? Are we way up here and just seeing the bottom? Or are we centered in the screen? And this is not about perfection. It's more about how, what type of experience are we creating for the for the person on the other side? And I think it's I think it's really important. I think there's an etiquette to this. And I think in new economy we're definitely flexible, and I appreciate that, and I love that about new economy. And I but I think at the same time we need to have a certain level of professionalism for each other, or or maybe etiquette. Professionalism is maybe a strong word. I don't know. I think professionalism. I think of suits and ties and. I prefer not to be in suits and ties, and I think many of you it would be the same. But think about that. Think about how in your Zooms you're showing up for each other and then how we're showing up for clients. And if we need to encourage each other on this, let's do it. Open an honest communication. Hey, Jeff, your volume's always down. Hey, Jeff, your lighting is a little screwy and it's distracting. Um, hey, Jeff, I see you looking down at your phone all the time. It just doesn't seem like you you want to be on the Zoom and you're preoccupied. Those are conversations that I encourage and empower each and every one of us to have. Not to micromanage each other, but to raise the bar. Because when we raise the bar, the level of experience that we're creating for each other internally will translate to the level of experience that we're creating externally. So I'm going to leave it there. How are we showing up for others? Think about this. And think about maybe what you might need to work on yourself. And let's do this, team. It's the weekend. Do the things you love with the people you love. And I know this light. I got to fix this. So that's probably my takeaway right here. Have a good weekend.